If you're doing real estate in Canada and not using AI tools in 2023, you're wasting your time and let me tell you why. If you're in real estate, you ought to be familiar with the fact that there is a lot of tedious work that needs to be done, be it contract making, offer making, whether you're a real estate investor, you're a realtor, a landlord, a property manager, it doesn't matter what you are. If you are operating in real estate, there's a lot of tedious work that needs to be done and you need to figure out a way to expedite this process. So how does AI help us do this? Well, I'm going to give you a few examples, but let's talk about some of the tedious stuff that we have to do regularly that AI can help us speed up. Over the last few months, I've been using several AI tools as well as ChatGPT to help me with various things in my business, such as creating lease agreements agreements, making service contracts for different rental properties, or even making offer letters. And I want to show you a couple examples of how I went about doing this. The first thing I actually tried using ChatGPT for was to help me make a standard lease agreement and have certain clauses that will protect my interest as a landlord. Let me show you an example of how it can make me make a lease agreement. Make me a standard lease agreement for a three bedroom apartment, Toronto, Ontario, with all utilities included, one parking spot in a house on the main floor, laundry shared in the basement, window AC provided. And it will start producing this agreement for me. And as you can see, it's generated a standard lease agreement here for me. Now, here's the thing about this. In this agreement, it has 13 sections to it, but it includes the landlord signature, tenant signature. You can effectively copy this over and use this as an attachment to the standard Ontario lease agreement. Now, the point of this isn't that you're going to use it exactly as it is, but this will give you the rough outline for everything that you will need to generally be okay. So let me give you another example of something that you would use it for if you're a landlord. You're going to hire a serviceman to either cut the lawn or you're going to hire a property manager to collect the rent. And let's say you have a general idea of what it is you want to hire them for. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT now to do the following. Write me a service contract between me, the landlord, and a service provider who's going to be doing lawn care at my rental property in Toronto, cutting the lawn twice a month for the four months of summer between May and September. Dude, it's great. I'm impressed just watching it. And it has included some very interesting things here that I might have not thought of myself. But let's say here, it covers, for example, scope of work, which is just saying that the month that is going to be covering and then it says that we're agreeing to a payment method as described here and as, as they provide the services and then it has responsibilities of the service provider which is they say mow the lawn ensure all equipment used on the lawn care is in good working order and safe to use they're going to clean up all the grass notify the landlord of any potential problems and then it even has responsibility of the landlord i didn't tell it to give me the responsibilities of the landlord i just told it to write a general agreement so it includes a lot of basic things it has termination clauses liability clauses making sure to adhere to governing law and it has a signature part. It should have a signature here of the service provider. But I mean, this is generally as a kickstart piece to get you going on the tedious work. But another thing that I found very tedious when I first got into real estate was having to write out listing descriptions. Please make me a general listing description for a property located in the High Park area of Toronto, which is a three bedroom main floor apartment with one parking spot, laundry in the basement, all inclusive of utilities, newly renovated with brand new kitchen and brand new washroom, as well as bright and big windows with spacious living room renting for two thousand five hundred dollars a month 700 square feet let's see what it makes for us okay so as we're looking at produce the description for us we can notice a few things first of all there was a grammatical error there where it said hyde park instead of high park area of toronto but it still says some general things that we would expect to see a professional to be writing such as welcome to this stunning three bedroom main floor apartment located in highly desired hyde park area of toronto this beautiful apartment has undergone complete renovation featuring a brand new kitchen and washroom model modern finishes and high-end appliances. I didn't even tell it to put that. The apartment boasts a spacious and bright living room with large windows and allow plenty of natural light to pour in, creating an open and inviting atmosphere. The kitchen is a chef's dream, complete with stainless steel appliances. Like I don't even come up with this stuff on my own and this thing is coming up with it for me. This is actually a hugely advantageous tool that I highly recommend. The thing that you need to understand is that it can help expedite tedious tasks that take up your time, but there's also certain things that you can ask it that will, will provide for you a summary so that I can make your learning a little more concise. Like if I didn't know what I should be looking for in a tenant, it will actually produce a few things here for me to reference, such as income and employment stability, credit history check, rental history, criminal record that would be in the States. We don't do that in Ontario. So there are certain things that it won't be entirely correct about, but it's still good as a general reference point. And it also tells to just check for general references. But you can also chat with it and build upon that to give you more detailed things that you might want to be looking out for. So if you want to know how you can synergize your efforts with AI tools and become a better real estate investor through house flipping, landlording, or wholesaling, make sure to get in touch with us because we can do coaching on how you can scale up your real estate investing game. If you enjoyed this content and want to know more about real estate in Canada, make sure to check out one of these two videos because they'll be highly relevant for you in 2023.